Hey guys, I'm Rohit Khurana, your host on Click Digest, and today we have with us the Spice Pinnacle Pro, which is an Android phone from Spice Mobile, and it is one of their flagship phones, which comes with a large 5.3 inch display. This phone comes pretty loaded when it comes to software, hardware, as well as features. It is powered by a quad core processor, has 1 GB RAM, 16 GB internal memory, which is something which you don't find on much mobile phones, and is powered by an Android Jelly Bean 4.2 latest operating system. Let's get started with the review. So starting with the build quality and form factor of this phone, this phone is a large device, a 5.3 inch display and the display resolution is 960 by 540 pixel which is QHD, this is not full high definition phone and on the front you have a nice scratch resistant glass, below this you have 3 touch buttons which is pretty standard, on the front you have a 5 megapixel front facing camera followed by a standard speaker mesh, on the top you have a power or wake up key followed by a micro USB port for charging as well as data syncing. Next to it is a 3.5 mm audio jack on the right hand side you have two keys one is a large volume rocker on the top and other one is a dedicated camera key which you can see down here bottom is fairly clean with a microphone hole and it comes with dual microphone holes for noise cancellation the second hole is provided over here on the back you get an 8 megapixel camera with dual led flash this camera is with autofocus functionality and down here you see the spice branding a large speaker mesh provided on the bottom the left hand side is fairly clean, there is no button provided here. There is kind of curve provided on this phone but this is not very curvy in terms of profile. The corners of the phone are well rounded and it looks a nicely designed device. Feels very sturdy in hand, is around 200 grams in weight so slightly bulky but nevertheless it feels good in hand and it feels solid and sturdy. Removing the back panel we get a large lithium ion battery, the battery capacity is 2550 mAh, there are two sim card slots provided here and there is a micro SD card slot with which you can expand the memory by another 32 GB. By adding a card there is already 16 GB internal memory provided, this is the speaker grill which is actually covered by this mesh over here. Price claims that it will give you a talk time of up to 4 hours easily on this battery when it is fully charged which seems to be true because this phone is really nice when it comes to power optimization as well as it uses a 1.2 GHz quad core processor by MediaTek which seems to be doing a good job when it comes to battery life on various devices that we have tested. It runs using 1 GB of RAM which makes it run pretty easy and it works like a breeze. It also supports on the go cable or the USB OTG cable so you can plug in the cable which is already provided in here you can just plug it into the micro USB port on the top and plug in any USB drive and you can read the USB drive using the phone very easily. It gives you an additional functionality so you can read pen drives, you can play movies from external drives, play audio etc without the hassles of connecting it to a PC. Talking of the box contents you get standard user manuals and warranty manuals with this phone. There is a standard USB to micro USB cable. A 3.5mm standard audio jack with inline microphone, a USB OTG cable, there is a USB wall charger which is 1 ampere in current rating, the phone itself with the battery and you get a leather flip case which comes bundled with the phone. The flip cover that you get with the Spice Pinnacle Pro is actually a back cover also. It has all the cutouts for the noise cancelling microphone, camera and the speaker grill and it fits nicely with the phone. It not only gives protection to the phone but also looks premium when you put the phone inside. It comes in brown color. The phone is in black but the cover is in brown. The back is also brown, scratch resistant, nicely built. So you can use this accessory if you are fond of flip covers. Personally I don't like flip covers too much because it hinders the typing with two thumbs but it gives good protection if you want to use a flip cover. Talking about the gaming performance, this phone does not disappoint us with the kind of gaming performance that it has on the offer. The graphics look good and the viewing angles are also very good. As you can see this is an IPS display of 5.3 inches and does look good from almost very steep angles and does give good graphics performance. As you can see there is little to no lag.
So as you can see, it does a good job when it comes to gaming. It is powered by a Parvia SGX 554 GPU and it has a 1.2 GHz quad-core processor. With 1 GB of RAM, it does good with the moderate games like the Frontline Commando. You can play light games like the Subway Surf. It, it is also capable of playing heavier games like the Beach Buggy, the Frontline Commando, Doomsday. We have also tried the Asphalt 7 on this phone and it does pretty fine when it comes to gaming on these games. With large display screen and a nice graphics display on this phone, it makes it really fun to play games. You get good motion control, you get good graphics, nice sound. The sound is also fairly audible. Let me also show you some benchmark scores to show you how capable this phone is when it comes to benchmark performance. On Antutu it scores a decent 13,398. Going to the system info you can see that it is powered by a MediaTek 6589 chipset with 1.2 GHz clock speed Parvier SGX 554MP GPU on this. The Android Jelly Bean 4.2 installed on this phone gives you nice gestures and controls you can swipe with one finger to see the notification and with two fingers to see the toggles quickly it gives you good voice command interface as well with the google now what's the weather outside it's 84 degrees with haze in new delhi weather forecast for next 10 days here's the forecast for new delhi set alarm for 6 pm Let me also demonstrate the video playback quality on this large 5.3 inch display and see how it comes out to be. I am streaming this video in high quality. So as you can see it looks good from steep angles and the audio is fairly loud from the speaker provided at the back so video playback quality on this phone is impressive. The audio quality of the Spice Pinnacle Pro 535 from the supplied earphones is just about average. From the FM radio the bass levels are missing but the trebles are good. From the inbuilt music player and the youtube app the sound comes out to be good the bass comes out to be much better than the fm radio but these earphones could have been slightly better the quality is just about average good thing is that they are 3.5 mm standard so you can put any aftermarket earphones and get a better sound quality from the spice pinnacle pro talking about the camera performance the 8 megapixel shooter at the back of the spice pinnacle pro is good when it comes to focusing but the picture quality overall seems to be just about average i just clicked the picture as you can see the picture starts pixelating too soon and this is in full 8 megapixel quality. The camera does focus well, maybe it is not saving the pictures in a very good format or something. It is taking pictures so for occasional photography and for light photography this camera does a good job. It also records high definition videos, panorama shots, there is high dynamic range, beauty shots, panorama, internal 360 shoot scene mode etc which are provided on this camera app which is standard app you can see the settings in the video quality you can select between low medium high and fine the fine is for high definition video recording the front 5 megapixel camera also does a fairly good job the front 5 megapixel also does a fairly good job when it comes to basic video conferencing and video calling summarizing our review the spice pinnacle pro 535 may not be the best one in this category but has superior build quality comes with nice set of accessories and does offer good software as well as hardware features it may not be the best phone in the price segment because you get many other phones in this segment of around 13 to 14 thousand rupees but all in all this is not a bad bet at all if you are looking for a smartphone 
in the price segment you can consider the spice pinnacle pro 535 i'll also ask you to check for the competing phones before you make a purchase decision this is all we have on a quick review of the spice pinnacle pro m535 if you like our video please press the like button below for more such videos stay tuned to intellect digest by pressing the subscribe button below this is your host rohit khurana signing off thanks for watching